And what's going on, everybody? Hello. Welcome back to the vlog. We are currently week and a half or so. Oh, uh, no, actually, I can tell you exactly because I was going to post. It's 12. We're about 12 days. 12 days. Away from, from leaving California. Cheers to you. Cheers to you guys, too. So just under two weeks away from leaving. How are you feeling this close to the move? Ready. Ready. I think we're totally ready. We are, I mean, Nancy has been, you've been packing for the past few days. I haven't yeah. gotten started. I knew that my closet was gonna be the most time consuming. Yeah. And I've been three days in, but it's also been really hot and we don't have air conditioner in our bedroom. So I can only do things in small increments because my closet has absolutely, we have a walk-in closet and it has no airflow. Nothing. Um, so I'm four boxes in. All my clothes, besides what I'm using for the two weeks, are packed. I just started packing uh, stuff in the bathroom. Yes. The smart, currently actually right now. <laughs> while, while we're talking so about this, she was... Bombs and the, <laughs> <laughs> getting all packaged up. So we are, today we're getting a pod delivered. That's gonna be our storage unit that we're gonna have here for the next seven days. It's getting dropped off today. It's gonna picked up, yeah, Nashi? It's getting picked up seven days from now, and then that's gonna leave us with what, like nine days before with it gets dropped off? Nothing in we our We are gonna house. have nothing. So we have to pack everything up over the next seven days, get it loaded up into this pod, but there's, there's just so much we gotta go over. Now the pod says that they need like 16 feet. I've loaded up Nancy's car here and my side by side, hoping that we can end up blocking off enough space that we could just get our pod dropped off like right there. Yesterday, I went and got a tow hitch put on the back of the CRV so we can end up uh, taking a trailer along with us. This is the cleanest our closet has ever looked. Nancy has been putting in work in here, getting all of her clothes packed up. My side's still just a giant cluster. We're gonna have to go through all of this stuff here, like real soon. So the, the pod gets dropped off today and they need a giant space. So we're hoping that those two cars will be enough to be able to, to just give them Maneuver the space to drop it off. They should be here between two and 5 p.m. today. So we're just trying to get everything done as possible. That tow hitch we got put on there. So everything that goes into the pod is gonna be- Everything our, besides- our couch, our beds, our TVs, our entertainment clothes, centers. And then my plants. We're planning on leaving the 28th. They are picking up our pot on the 22nd. Mm -hmm. So that gives us six days that we're gonna be sitting in this house with absolutely nothing. We're trying to work it out Almost like we're gonna bring the tent in here and we can have a big like camping in our <laughs> old apartment. It'll be really fun. We'll do it for the vlog. We'll oh, do it for man. an experience. We're it, gonna have it's, it's, nothing. It's gonna be wild. So moving yeah. is wild. And I know a lot of you guys in my comments are either in the the process of getting ready to move or some of you are like a month away from moving or talking about moving like it is just it's a ton of work and especially Besides our last move that we did i've always been a i'm a, i'm a, i like to pack up in one day and just leave in the middle of the night and unfortunately we just don't we've got too much and now stuff we, can't, we have now we can't do that i mean this is the first time that i've ever really had to like schedule sit down and schedule things yeah. and do things around because usually i'm like oh i can pack up my whole entire house in a day but I've also never had a living room, a, two bedrooms, all of a house. Like it's always, <laughs> yeah, it's always been like, oh, I'm packing up all my shit, my memories, and I'm going. Like, yeah. so now we have ventured out from our smaller little one bedroom to now having this big space, Definitely. to going into a bigger. I can't imagine what the next time the move is gonna be like. Think about all the plants I'm gonna have by then. Ooh, plant um, montage. So the Durango itself is staying in California. This thing has 200 and some odd thousand miles on it. I've had it for the past four, almost five years. Absolutely love this car. It has done me incredibly well. This thing is a 1999 Durango 4x4 and it has just been, it's been such a pleasure to have. I'm kind of sad that I have to get rid of it. I'm sad that it's not coming with me, but it's just, you know, it's old, it's beat up uh, and it definitely wouldn't make the trip across country. Over the past four or five months, it has just become an entire storage bin for our recycling. 
I mean everything look here's the passenger seat just completely loaded up recycling recycling back seat wall to wall recycling even going into the the third row back there this car has has some starting issues it's got uh, it's been a beast and it does incredibly well I didn't even get to do all the things that I want to do with it we did go take it out to the desert and we've taken it to Salt Lake City and we've taken it up to the mountains and we've just we've done a whole bunch of stuff with this car but so it's time for me to say goodbye. Ooh. Okay, so we got the Durango all cleaned out. Look at that. Big old change. Nancy helped me completely just dismantle this thing, which is wonderful. Now let's hope that the car starts up. All right, so we got some stuff done. Now it's pool time. Just just quick dip in the pool. We only have like an hour. Have you guys ever done a backflip before? Okay, so. Thanks to Nancy, uh, we were able to get all of that recycling bagged up. You know? That was a lot. Yeah. That was like four months worth of quarantine uh, drinking and a lot of cans and a lot of bottles, a lot of glass and everything like that. So yeah. Uh, it really makes you feel not healthy when uh, <laughs> you have everything stacked in the back somewhere else. You're <laughs> But we haven't had the opportunity to recycle, and now that California is beginning to shut down again, we've been able to load everything up, and now let's go take care of everything so yeah. we can... I mean, we don't have much of a choice. It's either organizing it and leaving it, or us getting our monies. So now we have about an hour, hour and a half until the pod comes, which means we've got a little, a little downtime. But for now, we're going to do a... A little bit of relaxing here in the pool. We also have a question. I got a question for you. Yeah. So I was gifted um, a hydro flask. Oh yes, okay? yes you were. But then I'm. We're a big Yeti house. We are. So a Yeti house. um, are you a hydro flask or a Yeti kind of are person? Are you a hydro flask or Yeti? Yeah. I, agree. I was like looking at the colors. I'm like, man, I really got a theme going on here. Yeah. Totally. But this was the hydro flask was gifted to me, and we've always had a Yeti. But now we have uh, two. Look, we've got these two ramblers right there uh then i've got a big old tumbler water bottle which is like a, a 28 ounce uh we've got a yeti, yeti portable cooler. portable cooler and a coffee mug so we definitely have a whole selection worth of yeti stuff yeah. what do you guys use at home if you guys use hopefully you guys are at least using something reusable bottles if you guys are still using plastic bottles please get on it. please like I had a cheap you one from to. Amazon that I had for a little you bit have that to. worked nicely, but I also lost that one. Not good. All right, so pool time. Woo, so that pool, that pool was everything that I did not know that I needed. Good call on that, babe. Yeah, just did a little chill out. Just a little bit of uh, of some cool water. I mean, it's not cold, but it, it was nice. So we have the pod showing up. It is like 155 right now. We got the pod showing up between 2 p.m. and 5 p.m. So over the next three hours, it should be showing up here. I cannot get this Durango started at all. So that's that's causing causing some issues. I feel like I have, I was telling Nancy earlier, I feel like I've got anxieties over just getting the pod dropped off. I just need it in a spot from what they say that they need. Like we're, we live in an apartment complex and all we have is just all that space that is just out there uh, in the parking lot. So we're just trying to block off as much of the parking lot as possible to hope that we can get the pod. I mean, we'll see how it goes right now. All right. Well, we just got a call. The pod is going to be arriving here within moments. And I think we, we may have blocked off uh, some things. Nancy says that we should be good. We should be good. We're going to be good. We're going to get the pod dropped off and everything's going to be wonderful. So uh, keep your fingers crossed for us.
is that's done. I mean, even though it's kind of crappy, he did a very shitty job, and uh, hopefully our apartment management isn't. I mean, they can't do anything about it. I mean, we can't move it. There's nothing we could do. But uh, it's at least here. <laughs> it's so crooked. It's so it is bad. So messed it could have gone back like at Three least or a four foot. Feet. Three or four feet, it could have like gone back. I was at least a foot just to be out of the middle of the, you know? That's that's that. All right, pods. We're off to a great start. Not only were you late, but then you dropped it off. Hello. Look at his butt. There's a dog here. Sure you is. You can't see him. He's blended in with my shirt. Yeah. Oh, he wants some vodka. Cheers. I mean, fireball. Just as we open this video, we shall close this video with a shot of fireball. It is like a 90, 95 degrees outside. It is a warm one today. We are gonna wind down our day. Uh, we got Fight for the Fallen going on tonight, AEW. And uh, Nash, stop it. It's at least just a, a relief that we have the pod here, which means that we have nothing from stopping us. That was a mission though, like. I feel stressed more that it's here than waiting for it. Yeah, why? Cause it's in two spots half out in the middle of our driveway i mean it's there for the next seven days so there's nothing there's nothing we could do about it he definitely could have done a much better job he could have moved it one way or the other he almost had it lined up in one spot which i don't he know why up. he pulled out and then did it different because i was like man you could have just dropped it right there he had so much space so much space and then he just gave up i think he got frustrated we're Maybe sitting there he's watching him because i feel like it should have that should be a two-person <clears throat> job Something like that. Yeah. I feel like the person should be reversing it and then telling him where to drop it and going forward and moving back. And it was maybe, Anything. maybe he was just by himself. And I mean, anyways, either way, it's here. Not that great. It's here. So uh, that's that. That was the big concern of the day. And now we can and just. And now it's here. Now we can hang out. We can just unwind. Uh, tomorrow is just going to be bullshit. Uh, I'll probably do this as a premiere. I don't think we're doing. Oh no, we're gone Friday. Can't, can't do this as a premiere on Friday. So this is gonna be up. You guys are gonna be watching this today. We're gonna be on our way to Phoenix, Arizona. So make sure to follow us on the Twitter and the Facebooks and the Instagrams and all the those Instas. things. Everything's linked down below so you guys can find us there along our journey while you guys are watching this. And then uh, that's, that's it. That's it. What are you doing? You got big yawns? You ready for dinner? Maybe he's just a lounge. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, that's been the adventure today. Just getting everything situated. Uh, tomorrow's going to be a lot of cleaning up and a lot of packing and a lot of doing things because then we're gone for like almost three days and then we have three days. I feel like two full days. It's not even to load everything up. So, all right. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We greatly appreciate it. Again, click that subscribe button if you have not done so already because I just broke 5.5 thousand subscribers. Woo! Yes, a little celebration. So. Uh, we appreciate you guys all being here. Thank you so much for joining us on this journey. We're gonna Can see I just you guys. Say thank you too. Yes, yeah, say thank you. Thank you. Say thank you. <laughs> say thank you. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. He's, he's not still learning. He's not talking to him today. He's really not. He's been very quiet today. Yeah. All right, guys. We'll see you on the next one. Bye, gang. Peace. I said bye, gang. <laughs> bye, gang.